me to YouTube to this day. It's another Black Ops 3 commentary video, and I told you I got a crap some of these gameplays from the beta, which was like what in August, in July? I think it was August. I don't remember. It was a while back. Anywho, y'all know who this is, man. This is your boy Jazz True and Fun. <laughs> And yes, you are here with the third and final single off of my upcoming beat album, The Key Ultra Hour Volume 3, Rising Sun. The single is called Cloud Something, and it is available right now. So after you get done watching this video, at the end, you know, with the ending credits, click on the top left box to listen to it on my YouTube channel. The album comes out November 13th, which is a Friday. The next day, this is the big news. I will be appearing on Overtime with Nas once again. Yes, so that would be the day after the album comes out, Saturday, November 14th. I do not have a time as far as when the podcast will take place. It'll probably be like around 1 a.m. Central Time. I'm not Central Time, but uh, Eastern Standard Time or maybe 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's something like that. It's something late. But if you can't stay up that late, the podcast will be available um, on his site. On the, his um podcast site, which is Spreaker, how you pronounce that crap, dot com slash MWE for life or something along those lines. I'll give you all the info as soon as I can confirm the actual time as far as when the podcast would take place. Now, if you have been watching my uh Black Ops 3 commentary video last week, you know what I've been talking about. And the topic here is Destiny. So I am continuing my coverage on Destiny. Now, last week I said I was going to either do that or talk about how talk about black people in general and then squeeze in some uh, things about BNT, but I won't do that this week. Instead, we're going to talk about uh, Destiny. So, part two of this three-part discussion here um, will continue right here. And now we're going to get into microtransactions now existing in the game. However, do not panic. Well, not yet anyway. So... I had read some articles. One of them was from Polygon.com. Another one from GameSpot.com. And the third one was from Engadget.com. All talk about microtransactions taking place in Destiny. And I have to say that the mic, uh, the Engadget.com article was much better. because It explains a lot more than the other two. And then I'll probably give it to GameStop.com in a close second maybe possibly. Actually, no. I take that back. Not GameSpot, but Polygon. Polygon is in close second. So let me give you all the topic here. So let me read you the article from Engadget.com talking about Destiny microtransactions. So basically, um, as you know, unlike item cooldowns or the obnoxious stuff that's in intrinsic, I hope I said that word correctly, to all those Facebook distractions that clog up your news feed. I'm reading from the article now. However, these purchases aren't game impacting. No. So the um so this is going on right now. It came out a week ago, October 13th. They'll take the form of emotes and other cosmetic items. So for those of you who don't know what emotes are, basically in-game emotions. So you can, you know how like you when you first get the game Destiny, you can make your character do one of four things: rave to other people or salute, sit down, dance, and I think point. Something like that. However, now you can get more than that and, you know, flip them around or whatever. So, moving on back to the article, um, developer Bungie stresses repeatedly that these will not impact your performance in any way should you not buy them, buy these items. You won't, quote, unquote, you won't lose a crucible encounter or fail to clear a raid because you didn't have the right emo equipped it, uh, you know, which was said by the uh, developer um, from Bungie. Moving on, what's more, the former Halo house is giving everyone some free shiver, the new in-game currency used for microtransactions, to see what's what. Bungie says that there's going to be more of an emphasis on world events and feature requests moving forward as well. What's more, Kotaku sources say that instead of focusing on expensive packs like the developers previously have with House of Wolves, uh, the Dark Below, and the recently launched The Taken King, we should expect to see more quests and missions dole it out for free with Destiny 2, not 2.0, launching next fall. Those free updates should happen, quote unquote, every few months. For a one down of our... Well, okay, you know, whatever. Um, So, <laughs> so basically, 
long story short, short, they just started with the microtransactions, but they focus it towards emos and other unimportant crap. They won't have any import, you know, any importance on the game. Now, when I first saw this, you know, when I first heard about this, I was like, okay, they could go about one or two ways with this. They could go with the optional uh, method or the mandatory method. Now, let me explain what the two methods are. The optional method is where it's basically like 2K, NBA 2K, where you have the option of either grinding it out and earning your VC so you can do X, Y, and Z with them or say, you know what, screw that nonsense. I'm just going to buy VC with my actual money and then spend it on X, Y, and then spend that VC rather on X, Y, and Z. That's the optional method. The mandatory method is if you want to do this, if you want this item, if you want to play that, you must buy it no matter what. Well, this is more of an in-between that Destiny going with, with their first microtrans... Well, I ain't going to say first because I don't know if this their only microtransactions that they're going to be doing in the game, but they could put in more items in the game involving microtransactions. But anywho, this kind of basically say they're going with both. Uh, it's mandatory because as far as based on what I read, like I said, I searched three articles and I saw nothing that says if you want to get these emos and this other unimportant crap, you have to either buy it with your money where, you know, use the money to get silver to buy that crap or grind that game. I didn't see nothing like that in any other article. So the only way you could get these emos and this other unimportant crap is by actually spending some money on some silver and use the silver to buy the unimportant crap but at the same time it's unimportant so it's optional it's not like it's mandatory for you to evolve your character or anything like that so how do i feel about this well i mean personally i don't care because again they want you to spend money on unimportant crap now if you now i mean i won't do that because emotes i could care less now, again, you know, I stopped playing Destiny um, at the time being. And I seen, like, while I was playing it, like, the, the Take a King week that was for free, I have seen some people with some different emos. I'm like, yo, where did they get that? But now that I know, to some, like, I could get some because they gave out some free silver, so I could go and get one or two or whatever. But it's like, for me, it's like, okay, that's unimportant, you know. Um, because I'm not playing the game, and, you know, the emos, I never really could care less about the emos. Unless they did have something really cool, then I'd be like, yo, I'm, I may want to get that. But at the same time, I don't want to pay money just for no emo. That's stupid. That's retarded. Now, I have um took part in microtransactions for VC in the past. And no, I did not do that for the Son of the Mayor um, series. So you can throw that theory out the window right now. So, but the one concern is, will that lead to future microtransactions where... They may use the mandatory method of if you want to play in this raid, if you want to get that gun or whatever, you must spend your money. Then that would be a problem. So, yeah, there you go with that. And we lost this game by one. Next week is the third and final part of this Destiny topic. And we're going to talk about the expensive pack. So, yeah, I'm going to get more in depth about that. Y'all know who this is, man. This is Genuine the Second Stand. Peace out, y'all. See y'all next time. Yeah.